Hi everyone, Rosella again. I've got a bunch of requests for more pink kits, so I'm going to just do one more here before I uh, go to bed. <laughs> it's pretty late here. Um, I was actually, I already did this once and I got almost to the end and then my camera died. And then I had to wait until it um, recharged. I cannot, um, I don't have a plug in a position where I can recharge at the same time as I'm filming. So anyway, I had this looking better. I had this looking prettier, but oh well. So this kit is Valentina. Um, it has more variety in the shades of pink than the previous kit. It has a lot more beaded trims than the previous kit, but fewer of um, other things like fewer cameos, um, a little fewer flowers, stuff like that. Okay, so this is it's a bit more modern. I it, well, it's less. It's a little less vintage, although this trim is really vintage. Isn't that cool, though? <laughs> so I'm going to show you all the laces first. And with this kit, I'm I'm hoping I'm going to get them all here because they're kind of in a in a bundle right now. Um, this kit, I've done both white and cream laces, a variety of widths. Um, I'm not sure if I have any really wide ones. I don't think so. That's a sweet little one. Let's see, there's that one, that is pink there, and this is also pink. This is cool. It's very funky, don't you think? There's this. Um, this is a really cool stretch lace, and I think I've said before, I think this looks like a lotus. I like that. This is like a dusty rose color. Oh, this one's really cute. And that one. And that one, that one is so soft. I have one eyelet in there. A pretty um, beading lace, a really small hot pink lace. Um, that one. This one, which is so cute and has hearts on it. And this one. There may be a couple more in there that I missed. I'm not sure. I think I got them all. Then you have a piece of this, which I believe is Webster's Pages Bloomers that I had in my stash. And um, I decided to put it into this kit because I just felt like it went so well, even though if I kept it, I'd totally use it. But that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always doing that. I put, I like find something in my own stash and I go, oh, that would work so well in a kit. And then next thing you know, it's in a kit. Okay, so beaded trims. We have the hot metallic pink, four millimeters. The soft pink, four millimeters. We have, hold on, there's another one here, a cream, four millimeters. We have uh, lighter but still, I think it is a cream still or an off-white in the six millimeters. Then we have white iridescent six millimeter trim. We have white heart trim. We have the iridescent tiny flowers and white flat back. Okay. And um, pretty much all of these are a yard. Some of them are even two yards. So there really is a lot of the beaded trims in this kit. Then Let's move on to the smaller items. I have two of the large roses. Well, they're not smaller. Um, and I have one of my um, hand dyed flowers. I have two cameos and they are these ones. The black one and the with the flower and the one with the woman. And if you didn't see this on another video, I said that I'm not super keen on the two colors here, but you can, if you're careful, you can actually color this in. Um, like with Copic markers and it works really well. It takes the color really well. Um, then I'm gonna sort of zoom in a bit here. I do also have one of the this cameo oops, which I just threw across the table. Two butterfly pins in this kit. Aren't these fun? Let's see there's two different shades of pink. I have a selection of, of the acrylic crystals in two shades of pink and clear. Um, some like hot pink carnations, satin carnations, two little cabochon flowers there. Um, three of these, 
I just got these uh, recently and I've just put them into my just started putting these into my kits I think they're really cute um, some Sprite flowers, Prima Sprite flowers, um, a selection of beads, and I'm going to see if I can go in even closer here, including the hand uh, painted ones and some of these like drop crystal looking things. And what else? Just some a variety of colors there. Then charms. Um, I have like a, a, a selection of leaves and feathers there in different uh, metal tones. This is really cute. It's a little, you can use it like a charm. It has a little, sorry, there you go, like a gem. And then this, and I'm hoping that you can see that. It looks like a flower on it. Very cute. Um, have that that says create. Have a little tiny beaded dangle thing. Um, a silver heart, one of those, and sorry, and a strawberry, and a dragonfly, and a purse. I'll just show you those real quick. The purse is really cute. I like that. <laughs> I also am including a good size piece of the hot pink stretchy sequin trim. There is um, this ribbon. There is this satin fabric for making flowers or whatever. And this, uh, the beautiful sheer butterfly fabric, um, which is great for fussy cutting the butterflies. And if you haven't seen the other videos that I have used, had this fabric in, um, it's the, the piece will be a weird shape because I try to cut around the butterflies rather than cutting through them. And finally, I have three appliques, this large one here, and I'll bring it in close so you can see some detail on it, and two small ones. And ay, there's a little bit of damage right there on that one. This, um, this particular dress turned out to be really, really hard to remove the uh, appliques without damaging them at all. In fact, I've had to change my technique after I did these ones. Okay, so I've now totally messed this up, <laughs> but it's everything that you just saw. Uh, this, as I said, this kit is Valentina, and I am asking $38 for Valentina. If you're interested, as always, just uh, let me know, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.